Hey, aloha, everyone. Michelle Melendez with BlossomInnerWellness.com and StandTogetherHawaii.com. And this is also on the Voice of Kona Radio, 100.5 FM. Mahalo so much for listening. Uh, and again, if this if this video calls to you, speaks to your heart, please like, share, and subscribe. It is getting shadow banned. So uh, any uh, support for this channel is greatly, greatly appreciated. Today, I'm going to talk to again to Desert Owl, who has been on a 53-year awakening journey, understanding who controls the world through symbology. We're going to be talking again about symbols. We did an interview last week about the U.S. dollar and the symbols in the U.S. dollar, and he's going to st- Start with some things that he wants to share around that. And before uh, I fully invite him in is I want to do a quick share uh, share of the sponsor of this channel. I'm greatly appreciative of because I do this on my own time. This is aceofcoins.com. If you want to learn how to lawfully stop paying taxes or lower your taxes significantly, If you want to understand how to have better accounting for better profits for your business, if you want to learn how to uh, license your biometric data, your image of your face, which is being used by big tech all over the world, and if you also want to learn how to buy cryptocurrency tax-free, you're going to want to go to aceofcoins.com, A-C-E-O-F-C-O-I-N-S.com, and let them know Michelle sent you. And on that note, Desert, mahalo so much for joining me today. Great. Pleasure to be here, Michelle. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So you've been on quite the journey, 53 years in, uh, well, in all of this Wait a minute, I can, I can actually take it further back than that. Um, when I, you were talking, I, I, I was remembering. And the, you know, the enigma of being able to see so much, you know, like, you know, I've dedicated myself to having a view of things. Um, what's really ironic is I, after I come into the world, I kept having these flashbacks. And then one day I finally got it. It took me a while to remember, but I remember literally being conscious of my mother's womb, sucking my thumb and seeing pink light. Okay. That's how far back consciousness goes. We know that, right? That's the the first, the first year in the woman is really the first, that's how they regarded in the ancient time, the year, the first Mm -hmm. year is in the womb. So if, uh, you know, if you've been out for one year, you're really two years old because you're, we're hiding in the first element. So, but anyway, yeah, that, that was really a wake up when I could, cause I kept getting these dreams and flashbacks of a sensation and it was the sucking of the thumb, you know? So it's the first act of consciousness we have. And so That's from there true. to rest, the rest is forbidden history. So where do you want to go? Yes. And this is forbidden <laughs> history because they don't want us to know it. It's not in plain sight. It's not, re- it's not taught in, in, in yeah. our schools. I mean, we get these, these paid, this paper green uh, piece of paper that says one on it and it's, it's for paying for something. And we, we, these, these were actually brought in. We used to use actual tangible, uh, which that is tangible. We actually used what uh, gold and silver which actually has a value to it in this piece of paper. We, it only has the value that we say it has. But let's go ahead and start with uh, with the dollar that you wanted to start with. So go ahead and screen share. Yeah, this will be the follow-up to last program because um, we um, touched on it and I, I failed to look at my notes close enough and I realized we had missed it. And so, I, we, so if anybody can go back and listen to the previous program, but basically uh, what we're uh, missing is the definition of the words. And... Uh, just to clarify, anybody, if they want to, they can go to um, because this, you know, this work exposing the dollar was really um, state of the art with my good friend Stephen Jacobson of uh, Mind Control in America dot com. And um, so I just want to show you here on Forbidden History Archive on Odyssey. I couldn't do it on YouTube mm-hmm. because it's got too much of a. Uh, yeah. different programming that he put in from other programs and like Laurel and Hardy and other, you know, sensational stuff. But here's mind control in America. And then here we have, um, wake up America. So this is a, exposing the, the deception of modern money. So I, I certainly credit Steven, uh, for having a really pulled together the all time classic one. It's less than an hour. So it won't take, wouldn't take anybody long to, uh, listen to but uh, yeah check that out uh i i i do you know a few other definitions that Stephen wouldn't have done or in that presentation but the point is that's what he made the main point that i remember out of that presentation wake up america is the uh the man- manipulation of words and if we if we manip- manipulate words then we're controlling what people think because they yes. you know they don't know what it is we thought we knew what it is but it's something other so basically, I'm just so I'm going to d- go down the list real quick, and then we'll get on with the uh, the main part of the program. Um, so the word note, this claims to be a note. Well, by legal definition, a note uh, is a promise to pay. 
And so in other words, it's a notice. Notice this is of so much value. So if you take it and cash it in, you'll get so much of something of substance, either mm -hmm. typically gold or silver. Um, and so that's, so it's, so it's no, once the Federal Reserve officially took over and we got the new deal with Roosevelt and all that, then the, uh, the dollar that was backed by gold or silver no longer uh, was in existence. So this now became, <clears throat> excuse me, this now became the illusion of wealth, the illusion of something, but it is nothing. And uh, and uh, the 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 way um, you know Stephen put it in his video, you know, this says one. So is it one of what? Um, you know, if if you say I have a court, you don't immediately s assume I have uh, oil or or yep. milk. Is it a quart of milk or is it a quart of oil? Right, one yep. quart. And so here we got one. And the question is one of what? And it's not one of gold. It's not one ounce of silver. It's one of nothing. One of nothing. And so so the the kicker is that they they um, monetized our birth certificates as a security instrument, made us the hostage. And so therefore, it, it's a, one unit of labor. Basically, we could call it because it is our labor that has created the funny money in this charade that they played on us. So, mm -hmm. OK, what they didn't Thank tell you. us in school. Mm -hmm. and and so, do you know why? Oh, go ahead. No, no. Go ahead. Uh, with the B, what's the B about on the left? It says federal. Oh, oh I can't read it. B on the left of the top part? Of the Washington's face. On Washington's face? Yeah, I know. It's next to Washington's face. It's on the left. On the so left. that B. Oh, oh, the big round. The big, okay. Yeah. Um, that's the uh, Federal Reserve Bank of New oh, York, okay. Federal Reserve. Yeah, so it's the Federal okay. Bank. They keep the Treasury on there, the U.S. Treasury on the right, with that seal to make it look le more legitimate, you know, to create the mm -hmm. impression, just like it says reserve, you know, and again, reserve of what? There's nothing there but bookkeeping entries on a piece of paper. That's it. Mm -hmm. There is no reserve of anything other That's than right. lies. <laughs> so, okay. And so Fed, uh, thanks to my Bailey's uh, Dictionary from uh, 1721, uh, I think it's 1721. Yeah, it's um, uh, federal means coven. So they're in, a, they're in a covenant. The people who pull together the banking system are a coven. And mm -hmm. uh, that, you know, we think it could think of Coven of, you know, witchcraft and, and things of that, because it is witchcraft in that sense. Yeah. And they and the man, the man, uh, um, like the Eastern Star women, I call them witches. And then the men, I call them warlocks, you know, because they wage, wage perpetual, perpetual war on mankind. And this uh, this is the this is the war mechanism. This is what funds the war right here. The illusion of something when it's all nothing. And uh, yeah. but people but people get excited about it and they think, yeah, I'd like in on that, you know, and because they don't have any um, uh, information or, or ethics, one or the other. Um, so so federal is coven and dollar. See, there's the now the question is, what is dollar? Because the word doll is two words. Dollar is two words. It's dull and or. And so dull, as if you, you know, building furniture, you use a dowel, a dowel to join the the uh the pieces of wood together those little round dowels yep. and so that's the same as the word doll in dollar and it means round and then or we know what or means it's round or so round or again is talking about silver or gold so it's not a dollar okay it's not and uh and then reserve i just did that yeah reserve of what and then the green you know when y you look at our greenbacks and then you can compare our funny money to all the different uh, currencies around the world, whether it's in Malaysia or, you know, uh, in, somewhere in the Middle East or out of Scandinavia or, or Europe, they've got the most beautiful money. Did you ever notice that? Yeah, uh, I do. I still have my Bali, my Bali money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, look at this. It's an artwork. And then you mm -hmm. look at our plain Jane green and it, but, but this is interesting because it's really uh, speaking that it is the foundational currency because green is the control. And as I would um, show later in the, um, the word document people would see the orange uh, the green right here in india orange of the sun and there's the control right there so um so the that's that goes back then into the uh story of the wizard of oz um where they're going down the yellow brick road they're the the authors were uh, putting in our face that they're stealing all the gold bricks and that we're going to the land of oz which is green oz which where is green it's all that's mystical right. right it's all mystical so so green but so green is speaking it means this is the control currency we we know that they based everything on the dollar because it's uh was used for that platform um okay so fed, fed okay so fed uh, rail 
I guess I'll have to type this one. Let me get my pull the word document up again. And I just and... want to remind everybody too about the eagle. I'll, I'll I'll share that afterwards after you're done. Okay, I got to get that Lois down here. I'll just share it while you while you're finding your thing. Yeah. Um, the eagle, which was holding, I think it was thirteen arrows and also a peace uh, branch. Uh, that is to tell us, you guys, that we are going to make peace with war. That is this the that eagle uh, is um, is part of the Rothschild uh, coat of arms, and it is telling us again where we will be making peace with war and what has been going on perpetually for hundreds of years is war. And what are we have a we have a war on drugs. We have a war on uh, terrorism. And the thing is, is Congress is the only uh, legitimate authority under the Constitution to bring in war to state that there is war but 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 they've actually totally um demolished the uh, constitution and uh so go ahead okay uh, desert so very good so um so fed federal um is a um you know component of uh, at least two words and so i just find it interesting that it's a uh, fed rail because that's what it sounds like, Fed Rail. I put here. I should have done it this way, uh, not the rail. But um, and uh, because it's interesting. Well, I won't go there. Uh, there's so many ways you can go. It's funny at times. Uh, but Fed Rail. So the interesting part about the word rail is um, that sound is that the code, you know, and it is L I A R. You see, rail is liar. It's because you got to walk the straight line, right? But you're, you know, in other words, you're looking legitimate, right? You're walking the rail. And um, so, okay, so I think that was all on that. And then um, we covered That's that. That's interesting. Th yeah, well, it, the play, mm -hmm. it was played on in uh, the, the movie Superman, actually, the one where um, the town that he was grew up in was Smallville, because that's how they think of us as small little people, the wee people. But then um, in part of the movie, there was um, a guy walking the rail in the, in the subway, and he's walking the rail, but he's representing um, the evil. Lex and, Luthor, he was. He was. Under oh yeah, that's the, right. Yeah. Lex Luthor. Thank you. And so Lex is that. law. Lex is law, and Luther is a plans Lucifer. You see the law of Lucifer. That's them. <laughs> He's a cultist, right? And so, so if you guys are what I just want to say, wow, yeah. that that just floored me. If you guys are watching this and going, what the heck are they talking about? We're just just let, let, let just let this sit with you. Just sit with it for a little bit because they do plant stuff in the movies. These these. People people who have been in control of the world for thousands of years and this is uh th that's amazing that you just well, said that right because when i saw that he was walking the rail i said okay what's rail backwards that was my first reaction and it's liar they're the best liars right and so what's really interesting after that where did he, he goes through a door that's got a number on it if i remember correctly and the door was 46 and then when you go to the book of psalms and you read down 46 words you get shake and when you read up from the bottom 46 words you get spear shakespeare and that's what they referred to uh, uh francis bacon as the spear shaker you see so all of their codes are in all this stuff it's they control it they make it you know and we we eat yeah, it up yeah. and don't and we're the entertained but we never get the message you know and so i only re watch oh, movies yeah, yeah. to get the message all right and so the and then what was it the um uh, the, the lamentation for the dead that was on the uh, the Roth underneath the Roth child shield um, in the middle pro, pro, with the P was it began with the P anyway they'll have to watch I'm the not... other pro last program okay just have to watch that ladies and gentlemen and you'll get fully informed right here okay and, so this is the dollar so anything else you want to share about this well, dollar no I think I think we cover I just recommend okay, people great. listen to Stephen Jacobson's uh, clip on uh, Wake Up America that because that will really uh, fill, give him a lot to think about. He's a classic. Okay. Yeah. And so I'll minimize. Uh... And if you guys are listening, going, you know, take what works for you, leave what doesn't. But at yeah. least you're the, at least these little seeds of information and insights are being planted and we can actually start to really wake up to see. The deception. I, I was reading this morning uh, the uh, 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 fruit from a poisonous tree, and <laughs> the just the first chapter is quite mind blowing because they have just 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 destroyed the Constitution, and um, with all of these acts, the Patriot <clears throat> Act, and these are the reason why they have the word act is because it is a show. It is an act, and we comply. When we comply, we give it power. So uh, we don't have to comply. And that's that's what I've been working toward is is uh, the Freedom School. 
-hmm. is, is letting people know how to get out of that system because it is a system and these are acts and these are actors, acting governor and whatnot. So go ahead, uh, Desert, right. on that so note. Imagine how I would I felt when I had my organization back in 1996, 97, uh, and just into the beginning of 98, um, I had uh, uh, United Truckers defending the Constitution, and I was going coast to coast interviewing people. I, I got a guy that could quote the Constitution like a guy could quote the Bible, verse for verse, line for line, you know, and immediately, and it was his name was Joe Cosmo. He's passed away now. Um, but then, um, so in the process of continually studying and doing doing interviews with other you know great people, then I, I suddenly realized while I'm on the or, uh, trucking organization, United Truckers defending the Constitution, going to educate the American truck drivers with an audio series, then I find out that really the Constitution is is a, is a dog. It's a rag. They they um, uh, you know again just like the money, they pretended something. They pretended mm -hmm. to, you know, to, to have the bedrock document, but it is a constitutio. It's an imperial. Uh, take off the last letter, and you get constitutio from a constitution. Constitutio is an, a Roman imperial decree, and when you put the N on the end of it, that that's a symbol. That means that which came down the sliding board of the capital N, and so it's just a royal imperial decree that came down. And so we we see it most clearly after the Civil War, when um, uh, they take the bill, the Bill of Rights, and um, and they stole away. The, um, uh, the original 13th Amendment, which I'm going to share here because it's relevant to the corporations that you asked me about. But uh, the um, – now I'm having a, uh, an aluminum moment here. Uh, Desert, hang in there. Come on. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The um, – oh, jeez. I hate yeah. when that happens. Uh, That's okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll come That's up okay. to it. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay. Well, no. okay. Con no. Constitution. We're going Constitutio, mm -hmm. Imperial Decree, that which came down, and um, – and so, so, but basically, it'll click with me if, if I just keep talking. That uh, we uh, have been uh, everything we've been fed. Uh, we've got to look behind because I can prove with the words, of course, that it's uh, illegitimate. Let me get to go to a screen share and I'll show you. Let's start with the Declaration of Independence because it's relevant it's... to the corporate idea. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. No, I just see it on the left hand side of your screen. I have to. Um, that's right. It's up top. And now I'm going to share. It says new share. Or do I hit well, it's, No, no, no. It's just right on the left-hand side of your screen. I see it says uh, Declaration of Inter State, State of America. Yeah, it's right there. Oh, you're, I'm the, already sharing screen. Right? Yeah, yeah. You're, All already, right. you're already sharing screen. All right. So you just, yeah. yep, just open it. There you Thank go. You. Thank you. All right. So we can see here now. Oh, let me go in here. Um, I got to shift over. Okay. And this box slide, oh, good. Okay, the box slides. So here we have um, continuous declaration. Uh, and uh, I had the actual uh, rough drafts that uh, Thomas Jefferson had. You know, I was fully into studying all this stuff and, um, and, and figuring it out, you know. And so states, so here's the word united. So the fir the fir based on this document, the first um, name that this place ever had um was states of america can you see that michelle it's pretty yeah. clear right yeah it's states of uh, america yeah if you yeah you gotta oh, kind of open it because uh, the left hand side i can't see but i can see states of america uh declare uh so, something declaration of the no no the other way the other way a little bit more All right almost almost oh well I right can there move your there box. we go Is now I, your... now i can see it fully okay i can see it fully. states of america you, and so unanimous we'll... declaration of the 13 united states of america right but but United and of of the thirteen United is just a uh, you know in small letters because it's not part of the title of America. So so then uh, we look at the word uh, America and doesn't it look a little unusual? I mean something strange the about that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Looks like an so, H almost. Right. And uh, you well, you got it. You got the first half of the two letters. Can you see the other letter? It's upside down e. actually. No. The second. Oh. The, fir I the don't first know. item is upside down. Oh, Looks it's a like G. You got it. Okay, so so you said it, I didn't say it. You said <laughs> it, congratulations. It's a GH. Okay, you wanna know what GH means? No. no. I mean, yes, I, th <laughs> I thought you said, I thought you said, do you know? Do you know what GH means? No, right, I do not know what GH means. Yes, I would like to know. <laughs> All right, how much money do you have? All right, never mind. I have a million uh, dollars. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so this is the code. This is the code and, and it's the prima facie evidence 
that this document was set up from the beginning, that we're talking about uh, really, you know, the colonies was a business enterprise. You know, they were coming over here to cash in on the resources and to maintain their own wealth, you know, and why would they give all that away? And so when we, when we consider the fact that uh, America was so big, if they didn't control it through stealth, then they could have lost control because this country had more resources so it could build better guns, better equipment. Everything would have been to the advantage of anyone owning America as big and resourceful as it is. So they had to pretend something uh, in order to maintain control. And they, they therefore created the illusion of uh, independence, but it, we're really just controlling it under the current, you know, uh, behind the scenes. And so um, just like I actually uh, found this, uh, I, I want to give one, bit of substance to that if it's still here um no i darn it i put it away let me um let me just show i got it. oh no i got it on uh so so you're okay. saying that the the declaration of independence of the 13 colonies the states of america which is really interesting because we do not talk about the united states of america we always say the United States, because everybody's like, oh, it's shorter. No, 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 no. There's a reason why you say the United States, because it's the United States corporation that has yeah, taken over the United States of done. America. It's, There's no more America, you guys. Yeah, they, it's reorganizations. And so so mm -hmm. here we see. Now, look at these are supposed to be the, uh, the Americans, right? What are they wearing? Mm -hmm. Red, white, and blue, right? Mm -hmm. And then you just saw me flash the, uh, the other the flag. Well, here you see, here's the French flag. Well, gee, that's red, white, mm -hmm. blue. The Russian flag, red, white, and blue. The British flag, red, white, and blue. Malaysian flag, red, white. I mean, red, white, blue all over the map. And so you've mm -hmm. got to look at, they're telling you if you know what the colors mean and only the initiated in the secret societies know what these colors mean. And that, so that's how they trick us. The colors look good, but they're not my colors, you know, mm -hmm. um, as from, from the organizational standpoint that we're talking about. So if we go back now to... Um, uh, declaration. Come on, where are you? Here? Okay. Wait, wait a minute. No, there was another one. I on the left, it. right there. There it is. Okay. <clears throat> so, so, so now with this GH, let's, um, let's see if we can find it anywhere else. Um, well, if this is at the middle of everything, um, Michelle, then it should also be at the middle of your keyboard. Oh, she, yeah, it's there. Right in the middle, right? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, and so what does it mean? It means, and now we can go back to the uh, Word document. That would be a good place to go. Okay, so, so the meaning um, of GH, and, and it looks, and it's interesting because, I mean, why did they put America with a GH in? It, it was just, it was just, it's a symbol, and it's like, um, but, but, but why did they call it America? Why, why did they turn it into an A? You well, know, it only I'm looks saying. like an A. It only looks like an A because, but it's a GH. See, that's mm -hmm. the code. And so this go is is a uh, is um pronounced uh eight, um and um and it is the uh the symbol of return. So if you if you look at this from a spiritual st standpoint, the higher realm versus the lower. So we come down from the top, and we go down. And we come around and we go back. Yeah. So it's, yeah, and you see it, you typically see the, in the occultic, they tip it over sideways, mm. right? You've seen it the other way, right? Yeah. And so, yeah, it's like a, um, um, I can't remember the name of it, uh, but it's just energy continually flowing. It's continually yeah. It's flowing. the infinity mm -hmm. sign. So it means return. Mm -hmm. So, so now when we realize that it's a code for return, uh, then we realize that what they were doing was to return it and maintain control. Just like the word att attorney uh, is also a turn, and a turn means to maintain uh, possession and control in the royal families. You see, so so they're turning it back a turn, like an A make is, is an architect's compass creates a circle at the bottom. It's a turnaround. That's why we see people getting ripped off from the banks on their mortgages left and right, thrown in the street, right. And it's because it's all been a scam. So, so one yeah. more example. One more example. Then we'll move on. Uh, then the uh, in the um, the book of Genesis, uh, every in the Hebrew, that only in the Hebrew, not in the uh, other. Uh, but the he we know the Hebrews um, the, who are you know calling themselves Jews today. They're um, controlling the translations as well as controlling the money. They control all information, media, you name it. And so they gave us this translation 
in the Old Covenant in the Hebrew, and uh, it's called the Mesoretic text uh, in, that's in the King James. And, uh, and so every 50th word within the book of Genesis is a GH, okay? And so, so realize that the book is telling the story about creation, uh, but at the same time, they put their code in it. And so it's like a mantra, every 50th word, return, every 50th word, return, 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 return. So it's like an occultic ritual, right? It's a mantra. And what they're, they're saying is they're keeping the world in their hands. They're mm -hmm. not giving it back to the one who made all things. They're keeping it. They like it here. They're staying. And um, and that's why they you know do what they do on this planet, because they uh, have a spit in the face of their creator in order to do the, the, the dirty uh, deeds that we're, they're doing to us today. Um, wow. I'll have to check that out. That's pretty that's mm -hmm. pretty out, outstanding. And and you, you when we say they, who exactly are we talking about, Desert? Uh, well, they, in the primary sense, is the what I call, originally the term is coined by my long uh, friend, uh, uh, Ralph Epperson, who wrote the book, The Unseen Hand. It, uh, he That's the perfect uh, terminology, the unseen hand. And the unseen hand are the, the Aryan uh, factions that broke away from the line of Adam during the period of maybe around Enoch in particular. And uh, mm -hmm. at that point, they branch off because they they had the head knowledge that they got from their father Adam, who knew how all, he named all things. It says right in there that he named all things, while uh, Yeshua, the great Zulafame, named all things. And so, mm -hmm. with this head knowledge, then they decided to enslave mankind, and that's where we got all the the great pyramid civilizations around the world. They because they had this technology knowledge infinite knowledge of mathematics and everything else, how it operated in the universe. So they made, you know, free energy. They made anti-gravity Vimanas and, um, and they, and they enslaved mankind. We work for them. And so, and, the, and the fact that they bonded our hides with the birth certificates, prima facie evidence of that fact. Yeah. And um, so, so. And, um, and in today's, in today's world and today's uh, language, I would call them the banking elite families. They, the, you know, another guest calls them the, um, the, the Jews, the elite Jews, uh, Orthodox Jews. Uh, I think that is just their front because yeah. it's not the Jewish people. It, it is a front for them to, uh, these banking elite families. Right. The uh, yeah. No, I'm finish your thought. I'm sorry. No, that's, that's okay. about it. It's just the banking elite families and people need to know that that is who runs the world. They think that they're voting for a governor. I think that our, our elections, we have a power locally. We have power locally more than the nation because nobody we don't vote for the president. I mean, even the Electoral College, you know, they they are the ones that, that are voting and the people that we actually get to choose from are chosen. You know, if somebody tries to run for president, you really can't for the president of the United States. Plus, he's not the one running the country. He's not the one running the country. Mm -hmm. well, so, I mean, we have a plain, plain example of our current president yeah, well, right now. Well, being that it's a one world order, therefore, all the uh, the nations are imaginations. They're just fictions uh, that uh, that keep us to think that there's freedom uh, because we can go over here, over there and uh, and enjoy you know our, our time on Earth. But uh, the uh, the so the unseen hand is the ancient Aryan Brahmin and they, and they, that's a corruption of the word sovereign. So they're the sovereigns of the Earth. And we'll never see them on television, probably, or you know, ever know their names or anything, because they work behind the scenes. They they then send out their se secretaries, which is the secret tor I, secret tor I, and the secret tor I is the, um, you know, as it sounds, it's a power. He's an appointed office. He's not elected, so they appoint the secret tor I to keep the president or the Caesar or whatever under. Um, uh, control and to give him whisper in his ear, tell him, well, "Don't forget, you need to do this." And so mm -hmm. the the uh, all the people that we see are the order takers. Even the guys like in the last uh, program we did, showing the men in black, you know, mm -hmm. all around the president's desk. They're also order takers, even though they they look like the dominant force on the earth. That's only because we can't see what's behind them, which is yeah. even more powerful. You know, yes. that's the unseen hand. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go to um, well, we have the 13th constitutional. Uh, wait, 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 what was just up? You just had something up that you didn't talk about. 13th constitutional. Oh, the, the thir missing 13th amendment. Yeah, that's, I'm, yeah. I'm, I was going to go there. I was just going to show, oh, okay. go uh, for it. because at that point we're over, I think we're already United States. So I just wanted to point out um, that, that, and this code just came to me actually. Um, anyone who's been studying the law 
you know, they, they, um, they know there's a number of different ways of looking at it from commerce to natural or common or statutory code rules, regulations. It's all these different gamuts of what we call law today. And, um, and backwards, it's a wall and wonder if it's a wall to keep you in or keep you out. But the word, so when we go now, once they moved away from the Declaration of uh, States of America, Declaration of Independence, then we, they, they took that up. Uh, united made it uppercase and then we got the corporation united states of america with a the in front of it the united states it evolved uh, slowly into the all capital uh corporate form and so that's going to be why uh, this is um 13th amendment will be important but i just want to show the code in here which i saw this week for the first time u-n-i-t-e-d and so um if what what uh you know, if we know that the, the uh, UN is uh, also French, then we have the the un, or de trois, or de trois un is one in the uh, the French aspect of it, and um, and so behind, so below that, then we have UN tied, T I E D. The untied. So it's a code. United when we come together, right? We're united when we come together. But at the same time, we are untied. Who are we untied from? We're untied from the land. So they're not they're not obligated to anybody. You see, because there was a maxim one one day. I can't remember where I read it now, but I never forgot it. And it said it said that that everybody wanted to claim the land, but there was one culture that wanted to claim the sea. You see, and so that's the at the in their day it was the Phoenician. Before then, it was the Celtic, and uh, in modern time, we it's the Admiralty, the the Admiralty Sea that we see in Brit, you know, the British Navy and Dutch Navy, and so so th so there's a code. So there's one more aspect to the code, and I'll just uh, do it um, right under here, I guess, and it is the with the UN again. It's the one knighted. And so they all become knights, right? They go there, even some American generals go over there to Great Britain and they get knighted by the king, right? And so it's the one knighted, you know, it's, uh, and isn't it interesting, they don't call it light, like the one light is the one knight, it's the darkness mm -hmm. that they're embracing and that they're pulling the wool over our eye, okay? And so um, so, the, so the, the united comes out of the Sanskrit, I'm just looking at my notes here, and, um, and it would have had a Y on it, uh, as it uh, is, uh, um, what am I looking at here? Oh, you, oh, in the word united, yeah, united, uh, I'll go above, then it's really, it would be like this, Y-O-O-N-I-T-E-D. And, and so uh, this is any, um, what I'm revealing for the, the, the novice here is the, um, the ancient Indo-Aryan uh, Aramaic, okay? So it's not, you know, it's not uh, Greek or it's not uh, Hebrew. Uh, and it's more closely uh, in the idea of Aramaic, but we're going back. To, all forms have been broken. They destroyed all the forms throughout time. And so I'm just showing little snippets of, of you know, the original thought, which is what I've termed, you know, my translation project. So here you can see it's clearly united. But in the symbol, in the code of the lexicography is the, um, is the, uh, the double O. So for united, see, there's your eight again, right? If you look at it, the eight is sideways. And you've got the two circles, and it's because so so joining, it's joining together the two circles. If you and I come together, we're two different circles, but we create another circle by uniting, right? So yeah. so that's why those symbols are so important, and uh, and that's how you read in the lexicog or or the uh, the hieroglyph. Okay, and so 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 they became united wow. companies, but they were untied in the admiralty sense. Then they became untied to the land because they claimed. The, the high seas, they claim to dominate the world. So naturally you're gonna dominate all ports. When they controlled all ports, they controlled all information. They didn't mm. just control commerce, they controlled goods and they controlled information. And they could bring a whisper of what's happening somewhere else on another you know, part of the world and always be in control. That's the way you maintain a, a turn, turn, mm. keeping the turn, okay? Um, so, so we see then Back in 1812, uh, uh, circa, uh, what, what, where's my date here? So I'm not sure. Um, uh, ratified 1819. Oh, Second thank, thank session, you. 11th thank Congress you, yeah. ratified 1819. Yeah. 1819. So, so they they started this. It was probably because of the uh, what the uh, the War of 1812 was about. That you see when they 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 went underground. 
and they were going to then um, claim America secretly while they pretended freedom. They enslaved us. Uh, mm. Everybody can't be in on that deal. So only the select few at the top of the pyramid are in on it. They know what's going on. They're working for the King of England and they're working for the Jewish banking. And so, so ultimately the good guys that really liked the idea of freedom and decided they didn't want to mess with these other federalists, you know, they then uh, got together and they created the, uh, what would then be the 13th amendment of the um, bill of rights. And here we have to talk about words again, because before I reveal that, we'll talk about bill. What is a bill? Uh, it came in a little after the fact actually, but a bill is a, um, um, is a, is a um, something that can be passed into law. Mm -hmm. So it's not law. It's not there yet. And yes, correct. Yeah. Yes. It's and, what and, they it's what they vote on. It's what they talk about. It's what people yeah. are supposed to be able to give testimony on. And they're supposed to honor what people say, but they don't. They ignore us. They completely yeah, they them, ignore us. And they call us them, themselves lawmakers. Hey, let's make another law. Hey, that's a good idea. Let's make another law. We made a bunch of them already. You know, let's mm -hmm. enslave everybody so, as much as possible. So um, anyway, so they burned down the libraries, you know, what Brit Britain did. Uh, and they were obviously trying to cover all this trail, all this stuff that the uh, you know, that uh, the Heavenly Father is trying to put on the table for me to see. And so um, then uh, they got they got enough pat and passed it with um, but they see they you were using the post offices and some of them were were messed with through the postal system. And they were trying to, you know, uh, later on say, well, you know, but it wasn't official. Yeah, it was. Uh, I can't remember the guy's name now, but they were up in New England and they were finding the old uh, 13th Amendments in uh, Denver state of maine uh, new hampshire all in these under in the basement you know all in these obscure places where you wouldn't normally find it but it's it's established completely i used to interview the guy so anyway so so this is the uh the, what's called the missing 13th amendment, 13th amendment and reads like this if any citizen of the united states shall accept claim <clears throat> excuse me receive or retain any title of nobility or honor or shall without the consent of Congress accept and retain any present pension, office, or emolument, it's like the gift, of any kind, whatever, from any emperor, king, prince, or foreign power, such person shall cease to be a citizen of the United States. Notice there's a small U there. So there, it's like that's an oxywampus now because is it United States capital U? Or, but we'll leave it there. And shall, oh, wow. be, in, shall be incapable of holding any office of trust or profit under them or either of them. Okay, so what does that mean? Therefore, anybody receiving any gift from other shores would already be disqualified to be part of the U, uh, the States of America. And at the same time, that would mean all Freemasons who have a secret allegiance to the King of England. Right. And they, they could no longer be uh, citizens of, of the United States either. They would be considered uh, subversives and enemy, potential enemies. Let me take a sip here. Why, why is that a small U and a, a large well, it's S because in the United it's, States? It's obvious that the title is still right there. Just a few years after the uh, Declaration of Independence, it's still States of America. It's not United. It's a title. Right. It's, so oh, it's my states. gosh. Oh, I see. I see. He, yeah. You guys, what he's saying is that it was still the states of America, that it wasn't the United That's States correct. Corporation. Yeah. It was still, okay. They and bring it the, in. Okay, okay. And the citizen of the United States, this was a 13th Amendment, was before the 14th Amendment, which enslaved, <clears throat> excuse me, people under the becoming a citizen of the United States Corporation. So I have I have stated to people the 14th Amendment, which was done after the Civil War, and it basically uh, enslaved people as United States, capital U, capital S, United States citizen, and that actually enslaved people under uh, giving them rights and privileges, not unalienable rights from the creator. So I know this is confusing you guys because <laughs> I'm like listening to myself going, okay, Michelle, make it a little more simple. So let me just say this one more time. This 13th Constitution Amendment was before the 14th uh, Constitutional Amendment. The 14th Constitutional Amendment made United, which is a capital U states, capital S corporation, it turned people into citizens of the United States Corporation. Yeah, they okay. set them in the box of Washington. The, yes, State. that is what the 14th Amendment did. This was the 13th Amendment. This was before that. So what he's saying is that 
and tell me if I'm wrong, uh, Desert, the titles of nobility, if you have any of these titles, which they don't want, we don't want kings, we don't want, right. you know, but, uh, all princes and foreign powers and all of this stuff. If you do accept that, you are no longer a an American, I should say, not right, citizen right. of the United States. But there's one more. Not but that mentioned. is not the case anymore. This is not the case anymore. Right. <laughs> Go ahead. So there's one more that's not being mentioned here. It's not being spelled out. And so I'm going to spell it out. One more. There's one more entity out here that has a title of nobility, and it is a corporation, because a corporation is not a living entity; it's a creation, and it and it has no obligation, right? It, in other words, we see corporations. Uh, in other words, the flesh and blood who are carrying the paperwork of the corporation are immune to prosecution. It's the corporation that will be blamed, right? And so, we're, who's in the corporation? Nobody. Nobody of responsibility. Yeah, and these corporations we see take on a life, and you can't mm -hmm. ever kill it. It keeps yes, on going. That's correct. It keeps on going, and and like that's why I refer to Lucifer, uh, this idea because Lucifer is an idea. It's not some you know in, uh, invisible woman running around flying through the air at night with a dress and boobs and and doing damage. It's an idea. The men who um, created this idea created a body, a corporation, and they are it. They are the Lucifer. The people that are doing the dirty deeds behind the scene, and yeah. um, and took you know took their blood oaths uh, together. And I remember now where I was going, where I forgot because this is leading into it. I wanted to back up real quick on. Okay, I was talking about a bill that mm -hmm. the, the, we call this a bill of rights. But wait a minute, a bill is not a law, so it should say the law of rights, and it doesn't. Oh, you're right. So yeah. So that's the, the prima facie again that this is not legitimate. And so let's go down to um, uh, what is it? The Second Amendment dealing with the right to bear arms, or is it the fourth? Do you remember? Yeah, the second, the second, second. amendment. Okay, and uh, so right in there it says that uh, that we will have the right to bear arms, right? Yes. So yes. you could go into the courtroom and the judge is uh, uh, questioning, take, putting you in prison because you got a rifle or a handgun or whatever, and and the guy could stand there and say, "Judge, but I got a right to, you know, to bear arms." Bear and arms, say, yeah. And, he, and he'll say. I agree with you. You're going to jail. Ten years. Boom. Bada bing. Why? What happened? What's going on? Now you're confused. Whoa. Because you see, um, the judge can agree, even agree with you because the right to bear arms, the word to means in the future. It's not, we should not say it. You have the right to bear arms. You, it's a trick. It's an occult trick. You have the right for bearing arms. That's present tense. And so when you has two, it's in the future and it never comes. Word art, occultism. See? Holy poop. How how hard how important it is to know words. That's why I've written several dictionaries because it was the foundation of unraveling the mystery. You know, so so this 13th Amendment then, um uh, and by the way, we call them uh the Bill of Rights, the first ten. We they mm. were articles, first article, second That's article, right. third article. Then they change it again, presto magico, into amendments. Wait a minute, I thought they were the ten oh, articles shit. of the Bill of Rights, you know. Yeah. And so this is always things are always fluctuating and changing. When uh, when you have a foundation, nothing is supposed to change. It's a foundation, mm -hmm. and it, mm -hmm. and it's the same today, yesterday, and tomorrow. You know, it doesn't change. Uh, and that was the first thing I said when I got into the political activism scene. And we keep hearing this word change, change, change. And I said, wait a minute. I thought we were supposed to preserve and protect, you know, and not change anything. Wait a minute, you know. So, so yeah, it was quite a learning experience to, you know, do to political organizations. And so when we, so what happened after the Civil War then, uh, because it, it was to, to a reorganization program, <coughs> then they had to get rid of this title of nobility, titles of nobility clause. And to uh, replace it, and it was replaced with the one about slavery, right? That mm -hmm. no one could own slaves and all that. So that was the replacement. And then comes the uh, 14th uh, am Amendment. I got two things going on in my head, and I don't know where I want to go first. Um, but I'll go there because I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm losing track. Oh, no, the other, well, let me write it down, uh, 19th Amendment. I just got to write 19, okay, because that was alcohol and, and Let's oh, talk, let's right. call it, let's say if it was really Bill of Rights. So we'll bump we'll bump forward for a minute. Then we'll come back on the 14th. So so um on the 19th uh, uh, um, amendment of the of the so-called Bill of Rights, um, it says there that they that there's a prohibition on on drinking alcohol. So if it's for your rights, how come the the very bill that very bill took away your right to drink alcohol? How about yeah. that? Huh? Anybody ever yeah. think of that? Bill of Rights? How about Bill of 
not having right. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. So, yeah. You know, yeah. So, so, so what happened then, the, as you were talking about the 14th Amendment, uh, when they then got rid of the 13th Amendment, put in the new 13th Amendment clause about slavery, then what do they do? The next one, 14, they made us slaves again. They made everybody slaves, what, no matter mm -hmm. what color or where you're from. And they got everyone in the, in the uh, international box of Columbia, District of the Columbus, District mm -hmm. of Columbia. And um, so, so this is the first article then, uh, the 14th Amendment, that actually has two sub clauses. And so it's been, th so the, what the Bill of Rights has been referred to as with this happening is that it was the second constitution. Because from this point, what did the two uh, subtitles say? Basically, you know, just without having it in front of me, it said that uh, the second part probably was A and B. The second part or the first uh, said that and any other legislation that is required to achieve this end. So any other means anything, any way, shape, or form at any time. If we got to bring it, we bring it in. So that's when they make it a parking lot for all other legislation, just like the you know, the outlaw, the out, outlaw alcohol in the 1920s, and then mm -hmm. all the occultists and the, make big money at the same time, like the Kennedy family and others. So okay, so that's really um, what we're dealing with here. So um, I think I've got that covered. United Companies Declaration of Independence. Um, Missing 13th Amendment. Okay, so any uh, follow up on that? Um, yeah, Please. I just want to say this is a lot, you guys. You might want to listen to this again. Uh, and also, just right now, it's really important for us to know that the Constitution is no more. They're they're ignoring they're ignoring the people, and you know they have attacked Maui. They're attacking all other places around the world. And what is our job? What is our kuleana? is to unify is to absolutely unify and to know that we we are stronger together because we if people think that what's happening in israel and gaza you know can't happen in the united states i i beg to differ i beg to differ with you and so they're they, they don't care about human life and what our job is is to understand that and to also even more so than understanding how we've been enslaved is to understand how to get out of it. So there is a freedom school. If you want to go to standtogetherhawaii.com or my other website, blossominnerwellness.com, you can click on freedom school. I am going to be taking people through that eventually. Um, I don't have a date right now. Uh, and, uh, and I'm also going to be helping people with the detox because that is super important and it's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot that we're all going through right now. Um, this, so just take it one day at a time. And if it's, if it's just learning that, this whole America, the United States of America is no more. America is no more. The United States Corporation is what runs the world. We, we don't vote in the president of the United States. That That is that is something that people, I, I really feel that people need to understand. Mm -hmm. This is a game that they, they want us to think we have freedom. They want us to think that we get to vote in somebody who's going to be leading us. And it's, it's just not uh, reality. But what is reality is that we are under God, that God, there is an infinite creator who has given us, this infinite creator has given us unalienable rights. And the next, who was it? It was um, Eckhart Tolle said that the next stage of humanity, of, of next evolution of humanity is the waking up of consciousness. So our consciousness is what's important right now, is f feeling into your intuition of understanding, of, of letting yourself be guided. Um, go ahead and uh, stop screen share, if you would, Desert. Well, I was going to do one more follow-up. Oh, oh, okay, sure. Go ahead, then follow up. You're, okay. you're, you're on. Okay, so I wanted to point out that um, it was Mikhail Gorbachev who, uh, after they did the reorganization of the Soviet Union back about 20, 25 years, mid-80s, mid-1980s, um, <clears throat> he, he came, then he flies over to America uh, and he, he takes office in the Presidio, which is a Navy military installation north on the northern side of, of the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. And he's doing sp public speaking, you know, and uh, he was quoted as saying, the, you know, the, the founding fathers of America. I mean, he's he's talking like he's, you know, uh, one of us in that sense, you know, and he's saying, you know, that that the founders of America uh, did a great job when they created the Constitution because they designed it in such a way that they could that they could mollify it in any direction that they needed to take us in the future. You know, something mm. to that effect. You see, so he's admitting what I'm trying, I was just pointing out right here myself. And um, and so they all know it's the game. 
In other words, every time we hear it on the news, they're going to go, you know, rescue some people in another country and they're going to they're going to get a constitution. It's always going to get a constitution. We need a constitution, 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 constitution. It's a Roman imperial decree and it's a, it's the greatest show on earth. And so mm -hmm. here in my um, 1721 uh, dictionary uh, came out of England, um, the word democracy uh, says, because that's what they always um, talk about. We need a democracy too. give me a constitution. Give me a democracy. Right. And so I had pointed out that democracy. Uh, I don't know if it was with you or in my programming, but um, but demon in the Greek, it's demon creation, demo creators, demon creation. Right. And so let's find out who the demons who the demons are here okay um so democracy in this uh so 17th... are you gonna are you are you sharing another screen we still no, have the 13th no. constitutional amendment no, i'm just okay. gonna read um, okay go so ahead. the word the word uh, democracy at seven in 1721 uh is a uh, a government where the supreme or legislative power is lodged in the common people or performs a cho uh chode out of them i don't know what that means uh, but i'm going to go down now so they call it a democracy right but then but then it's an abbreviation as i pointed out they abbreviate words and we find further down in the column the and is this called no shatar associate the knowledge of, of association one word above or below is possibly associated with the word you're working with and so you you follow the trail back and so we go down a little and we find out democracy this is an abbreviation of the word demonocracy and what does it say? A democracy being a demonocracy is a government run by devils. How do you like that? So who's mm -hmm. the devil? Well, the word devil uh, in most of the scriptures uh, was used to replace the correct word and its adversary. It's the advert. The enemy is the devil, the one who is putting it on you, enslaving you lying to you, deceiving you. So there's your democracy. It's a demonocracy. Don't be fooled anymore. Be set free. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I always thought about that, too. I was like, I've, I've, I've thought about that in the past. I was like, de democracy. And I thought, thought about demon. Oh, like it says there's a root word is demon. I'm like, what the heck is that about? And so thank you for clearing that up for me, because I, I remember seeing that. Absolutely. As well. Okay, um, so anything else you want to share around this topic? No, I think we're good. Uh, okay. I think you want to finish with Star David real quick. Right? Uh, let's actually do another video on that, because I do want to oh. do a quick prayer and then we'll do a oh, shorter okay. video. That's that's all about that. And that would be great. Okay. So go ahead and just stop screen all right. share. Yeah. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for all of that information. And again, if you're listening and you're just like, what the heck was they talking about? Uh, this is <laughs> on. Yeah. All right. <laughs> go to standtogetherhawaii.com. You can click on the YouTube channel if you're listening on the radio. And this is on the YouTube uh, channel as well as my Rumble channel. And I really, really, really highly recommend that you join the Rumble channel because if this YouTube channel goes bye bye. It's either the Rumble channel or StandTogetherHawaii.com to find me. Uh, and um, let's get free together because this is a game. This is a total show. We each have a part to play. You know, I always people, I, I appreciate people, you know, writing to me and sending me gifts. This one woman sent me this beautiful gift and I really appreciate that. And, but the thing is, is this was my kuleana. I just knew that when this started happening that I was supposed to speak about it. And each one of us has that intuition, has it like desert, has it in, he, he just was guided to, to learn all of this stuff, all this information. What are you guided to do? If you're watching, if you're listening, what is your inspiration? Is it to share this video? Is it to learn more about how to become free? and out of the system because each one of us is guided and you have to trust that and I always even my business I've been in business since 2001 and I would get stuck and I'd get stuck in my business and I'd be like okay universe what's next and I just let it go I said what's next for my business and I would let it go and then normally about 4 30 in the morning I'd wake up and I go oh that's what I'm supposed to do you know blossom inner wellness was because I was I had a business called women being fit and it just didn't feel right anymore and I was like okay what's the name of the business same thing 4 30 in the morning blossom inner wellness shows up in my in my heart and I'm like oh oh okay and I follow that I always follow if I'm I'm inspired to do something I follow it no matter how scary it is to do to follow that's just what I do because I trust this infinite creator that is growing the plants behind me breathing my body beating my heart I'm not breathing my body and beating my heart there is something else doing that for me to have this human life and I'm going to trust whatever is in my gut that tells me do this do this Michelle now do this Michelle and I'm just going to follow that 
So I really invite you to be courageous enough to do that because you are not a slave. You you are not here by accident. You 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 did not do you there was a reason why you came forth. Do you know how many eggs and sperm were in were in your mother and father's in your mother's body to create you? Like you you you're the one who came forth out of billions and billions of other possible humans. You came forth. So that is not by accident. That is by divine intervention that said, it's going to be this person that comes forth out of your womb that it could have been billions of people. You came forth. So I just want to um, remind you guys of all of that. And let's just do a quick prayer to this infinite creator. Infinite creator, we just know that you are the one really in charge and you're guiding the show. And each one of us came here and we decided we're going to play this game called being in a human body with the illusion of polarity, which is good and evil, because that is just frequency. It is only, only frequency. And we, the feeling of light and of love is a higher frequency than of darkness and of, and of pain and of, of, of fear. Fear is the lowest frequency. Love is the highest frequency. And Great Spirit, we just know that love is coming into the planet because we as people, as human beings, we love so easily. It just feels right to love each other, to hug each other, to say aloha, to say hello to people, to smile, to watch children laughing and playing with each other. Children do not know race. They don't know color of a, of a person's skin. They just know, I want to go play in the sandbox and I want a friend. That's what, that's who and what we truly, truly are. And Great Spirit, I know that that frequency of love and of unity is, is, is here on the planet and that all people want that. We want freedom. We want safety. We want the, the knowingness that each one of us matters. We want connection with each other. And Great Spirit, I know that that is coming into the planet. It is here right now. And that all light beings, all angels and spirits are with us, including that inspiration in spirit that we are inspired to take action from our heart, from our gut. And that inspira inspiration in spirit comes from you, Great Spirit of all things that is moving the sun across the sky and running the tides in the ocean and guiding the honeybees to their next flower, that you are guiding us so that this planet can be at a higher frequency of love and of light and of unity and of joy and of peace and of harmony with all people around the world and the Aina, the land. I'm so excited and grateful that we get to watch as things unfold for this world to be at a higher frequency and people can live in the world as loving beings for each other with no more fear with walking, knowing that they are they are totally free, that they get to be under a beautiful sunny sky, free of, of any toxins in the air, that the water is free of contamination, that there's no more weapons that work against human life, that all people who would harm human, human humanity, that they are being peaceably removed from power or voluntarily stepping down. And Great Spirit, we get to walk. Watch. We get to watch as that is unfolding here at this time in history, and we get to live in a new world of higher frequency, of peace and of love for everybody on the planet, because we truly love each other. That is what a true human being is. And Great Spirit, thank you so much for allowing this time to happen, that this lower frequency is peaceably removed from the planet and this higher frequency of love gets to emanate through every single human being, sentient being on the planet. And we get to watch it unfold and experience a new peaceful world. And so it is. Desert, mahalo so much for joining me. <laughs> that was a lot, you guys. And I just wanna say much mahalo and let's do one more recording and I'll be right back. Aloha, everyone. Right. Thank you.